Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have imported the Facebook logo, which I will be using in this tutorial. Now let's see how to create this lower third, create a new composition, name it as lower third. For this composition, I will set time duration to, just 5 seconds, remaining everything will be same. Now let's add the main text. Here you need to add your social media handler. Here I will be using, Montserrat font family, font style to extra bold. Depending on your text, you can increase or decrease the font size for the text. Let's change it to all caps. Align the text to center. Make sure paragraph alignment is set to center text. Now make sure outline is enabled for the text layer. Change the fill color to white. Here you can set the stroke width. Perfect. Now let's animate the text layer. Now in animate, in fill color, select opacity. Set fill opacity to 0%. Let's remove this range selector. Now for text layer, go to animate, select opacity. Set opacity to 0%. In range selector, at start, create keyframe for offset. Now at 1 second and 15 frames. Change offset to 100%. You can see the preview. In advanced, on the randomize order, you can see the preview. Now for text layer, again go to animate. From fill color, select opacity. In range selector. Now at near about 1 second and 20 frames. Create keyframe for offset. Now at near about 10 frames, change offset to, minus 100%. In advanced, on the randomize order, you can see the preview. Now for text layer, in animate, select tracking. Now at near about 1 second and 10 frames. Create keyframe for tracking. Now at start of the timer line. Change tracking amount to, minus 120. You can see the preview. Now press U to view all the created keyframes. Select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Here if you want to increase the time duration for animation, then you need to adjust the position for end keyframes. Perfect. Now let's add the subtext.
Here I will change font style, change it to medium. Reduce the font size. Perfect. Now let's animate it. For text layer, from animate, select opacity, set opacity to 0%. For range selector, at start of the timer line, create keyframe for offset. Now at 1 second, change offset to 100%. To change direction for reveal you can change offset to minus 100%. Now for text layer, from animate, select position. Set X position value to 200. Now in range selector, at start create keyframe for offset. Now at 1 second, change offset to 100%. In advanced, change based on two lines. You can see the preview. Here we will place this subtext layer at distance of 1 second. Perfect. Now let's add the logo here. Add logo to the timer line. Let's scale the logo. Perfect. Let's pre-compose the logo. Name it as logo. Here you can keep the logo as it is, or you can make the following changes, or for this logo, from effects and preset, in keying, apply this linear color key to logo. Select the key color, perfect. This will remove this white color and make it transparent, now in effects and preset, search for fill, add it to the logo layer, change fill color to white, perfect, now select the rectangle tool, change fill option to, solid color, set stroke option to, none, now create the shape layer hiding the logo, Now for logo composition, change track mat to, alpha mat shape layer. Now for logo composition, press P to bring up position. Now at 2 seconds, create keyframe for position. Now at 1 second, change X position as shown. Perfect. You can see the preview. Select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Perfect. Now let's see the complete preview. Now select all the layers, and pre-compose them. Here I will name it as Facebook. Now for this composition, go to Time, select Enable Time Remapping. Now at 2 seconds, create keyframe for Time Remap. Now at 3 seconds, change Time Remap to 2 seconds. Now at end of the timer line, change time remap to, zero. Now you can see the complete preview. Here our lower third is created. Similarly, you can create multiple lower thirds. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. 
See you next week with another awesome tutorial.